Not far from the hustle and bustle of the big city, hidden from coastal views, nearly 20 miles west of Point Reyes Lighthouse, lies an underwater oasis that has only recently been explored. Its name is Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary. Getting here isn't easy. And for scientists, it poses a host of challenges. For scientists like Dan Howard, the rewards of working at Cordell Bank far outweigh the obstacles. Cordell Bank is perched on the continental shelf. Its western edge plummets more than a mile. This four by nine mile rocky oasis rises up from the seafloor and at its highest point reaches to within 115 feet of the surface. The rich California current washes over the bank continuously supplying nutrients to the bounty of life here. This same current bathes the nearby Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuary, 20 miles to the south. A favorite haunt among sea lions and elephant seals, these craggy peaks mark one of the world's foremost destinations for white sharks. The islands also boast the largest concentration of breeding seabirds in the entire continental United States. While the first documented discovery of the Farallons was in the 1500s, Cordell Bank was formally discovered during the California Gold Rush in 1869, when the U.S. Coast Survey undertook a series of offshore expeditions. During one expedition, the ship of expert hydrographer George Davidson became mired in a dense fog. Dropping a lead line to determine his position, he made a shocking discovery. His depth registered a mere 30 fathoms, 
or 180 feet, half the depth he expected. He made a vow to return and conduct a proper survey. That survey, however, would fall to another man, Edward Cordell, several years later. The bank would later bear his name. It was not until 1978, more than a hundred years after its discovery, that the first humans actually saw Cordell Bank for themselves. Along with Schmieder was veteran diver Jack Marshall. In recognition of its unique qualities, Cordell Bank became a National Marine Sanctuary in 1989. Watched over by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, Cordell Bank is one of 13 National Marine Sanctuaries and one Marine National Monument. These vital sanctuaries work to conserve, protect, and enhance the nation's marine protected areas. Today, the exploration continues, and a new generation of explorers is recognizing the significance and beauty of this place. Make sure the house is at the bottom. Yeah. Looks fantastic. How are we deck? Yeah, we're just we're getting settled. We're on the bottom. It looks like everything's holding. The pressure is at. Layers of life have colonized, crumbled, and coalesced, adding to the foundation of the bank. And atop this rocky necropolis, new life has sprung. From animals like sponges and sea stars, to crabs and curious octopus, nearly every major group of animal is represented on this isolated oasis. Space can be a limiting factor, with each organism fighting for its foothold in the current. Mm -hmm. 
Stacked living can sometimes offer the best or only solution for survival. And with this bustling crowd of life, even more visitors are attracted to the party. From the far reaches of the Pacific, Cordell is a migratory destination for a myriad of sea life. Above and below the waves, life of all shapes and sizes is attracted to these rich feeding grounds. And for millennia, it was only the creatures of the sea who bore witness to this secret bounty. John Callum Bakitis, a world authority on blue and humpback whales, has been studying this Pacific population for years. Callum Bankitas and his team have photographed over 1,500 whales, identifying individuals from their unique tail fluke and back markings. Both humpback and blue whales range widely along the west coast, but there are a few key areas we found where they regularly go to feed. These are productive areas where there's upwelling. In the case of blue whales, there's lots of krill. In the case of humpbacks, there's either krill or fish. The Cordell Bank, especially in the fall months, we see spectacular concentrations of humpback and blue whales in some years. There's still much to learn about Cordell Bay, and many more species yet to be discovered. And while this oasis may seem far removed from civilization, its inhabitants lie at the mercy of our everyday actions. It's vital we stay mindful of how our daily habits can influence the life here and farther out to sea. Most of us may never see Cordell Bank with our own eyes. But knowing that these rainbowed reefs exist, perched on the edge of the Western world, sets fire to the imagination and inspires the explorer in each of us. For more information about Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary, please visit our website.